what unsolved mystery has absolutely no plausible explanation? Came home from work with a 12-pack of drinks. I was walking up to my door when I dropped said 12-pack, a bunch of cans roll out of one end so I stopped to pick them up and put them back in the box. But there are 13. No matter what one of the cans want fit, and they were all clean, no chance of a soda just being left outside. I count 13 cans when I get inside. No idea how that happened. About two years ago my sister was home alone while my mom was at work and I was at school. I finished early that day and was home at around 1 p.m. I was talking to my sister and she casually mentioned my mom came home for a while. Right away I thought that was odd because my mom works a few towns over and even if she came home on her lunch break she'd have to leave to go back by the time she got here but I thought maybe she had an appointment or something, so I asked my sister if she said anything. Here's what my sister says happened, she was upstairs in her room when she heard the front door unlock, so she walked over to the stairs to see who it was, the stairs were facing the front door so you could see it from the top of the stairs, and saw my mom taking her coat off and hanging it up. She looked over at my sister without saying anything after which my sister was just like oh okay it's just mom and went back to her room. She also didn't hear her leave. When she told me this I was pretty spooked because my mom wouldn't have not said a word, she'd say hi at the very least. I proceeded to call my mom to ask her if she'd been home recently just to make sure and just like I thought, she hadn't been home since she left that morning. We still don't know who or what my sister saw but I was afraid of being home alone for the next two weeks. Personal Mystery 20 plus years ago I had a very brief job selling gas services door to door. Anyway, as dusk just started to arrive, near 5 p.m., I knocked on a door and an old woman answers. I gave her my standard we can save you dollar by switching to this gas, might we look over your latest bills and our offerings to compare? She tells me I'm sorry, honey, I don't live here, this is my son's house, let me get in for you and I politely accept. After maybe 5 to 10 minutes of waiting, I think maybe they'd forgotten me or were trying to blow me off so I have one last knock and this time a younger man, mid 40s I'd guess, answers and asks if he can help me. I give him the same sales speech and he stops me midway and says now is not a good time, we just buried my mother today. I'm apologized and quickly backed away. I tell myself it was a nice way to mess with the door to door guy but I really don't know to this day. I once did a magic trick in front of 20 people as a teenager. We had orchestrated it, so there were two of us. So the trick is, I ask someone from the audience to pick a card, hold it above their head in front of the crowd but card back facing me, so the entire crowd sees the card. Now someone on the other side of the window behind the crowd also sees the card, and with the crowd facing forwards, they don't see him. So he plasters the card from another deck, on the window, and when he's done doing that, I throw the entire deck at the window, and lo and behold, their card is now stuck on the other side of the window. What happened surprised not only the crowd, but myself and my co-magician as well. I throw the deck and the exact card is not only plastered on the other side of the window, it is also stuck on our side of the window, right next to it. My mind was blown and I still can't explain it to this day. We played it as a part of the trick, so nobody in that crowd knows what sort of black wizardry went down that day. I have a personal mystery. When I got home from uni and before I found a job I had a period of time where I stayed at my family home. Due to being home alone often during this time I tended to be the one who collected the mail and did odd home jobs. One day we had a particularly large amount of letters and parcel, for my brother's birthday, and because two trips are for weak people I struggled and carried them all into the house. I managed to throw the letters onto the table but about half slipped onto the floor, this is important. Thinking screw it, I carry the box upstairs to the office and come back down to pick the letters up. Yet, when I come back into the kitchen there are no letters anywhere. Confused, I check every downstairs table and eventually the mailbox. Nothing at all. Finally I go back into the kitchen and notice one of the kitchen chairs is slightly pulled out from under the table. I pull it all the way out and under the cushion on the seat is a neat pile of the letters. There was no one but me at home for a few hours before this. Utterly confused till this day. We lived in a bi-level house with a chest freezer in the basement and the kitchen on the second floor. When I was younger I was a teenager I was asked to bring tater tots upstairs so my mom could make a casserole. I went and grabbed them and came upstairs. When I got upstairs the tater tots were no longer in my hands, and my mom asked where they were, I thought I had just spaced out and forgot them. So I went back downstairs and they weren't in the freezer anymore. 
searched literally every inch to slash nook and cranny between the chest freezer and the kitchen and they were not anywhere. They never ever turned up. To this day my mom thinks I was playing a dumb prank on her. My most plausible explanation is that we live in a computer simulation and they got accidentally glitched out of it. I bought my husband a watch for his 30th birthday engraved with his name. Not long after he lost it somewhere in the house. We searched everywhere for it but it couldn't be found. Fast forward 13 years and my husband has a heart attack and dies instantly. Two weeks later our two year son walks out of the bathroom holding his watch. There are no cupboards in there just a shower and bath. He's very excited to have it and to this day, I have no idea where he got it from. In college, eating breakfast with three friends. All have cereal with milk. One friend, Kay, also has a glass of milk. He's seated directly across from me. I watch him pick up the glass and drop it onto his lap. It disappears from my view as it strikes the table. Absolutely no reaction from him. We ask Kay if he's okay. Kay has no recollection of the glass of milk. We search the immediate area and no milk anywhere, no glass anywhere. Three of us remember the glass of milk. Kay has no recollection to this day. When I was in high school, my aunt gave me a t-shirt for my birthday. It was kind of sparkly and not something I ever would buy for myself, but I sometimes wore it. One day I realized I had two of this shirt in my closet. No idea how that happened. I could never think of a good explanation, although there must be one. Still seems strange. Something that still bothers me till this day. I'm a soccer slash football coach of kids, great way to earn money when you're a student, and each year we have a couple of open practices where parents bring their kids to see if they like soccer etc. After one of these practices a kid walks up to me and says I'm sorry that you lost your grandma. I was a bit confused and I said you know, you must think of someone else and I just shrugged it off. The next day I woke up for school and my parents told me my grandma died in her sleep and that her nurse found her in bed that morning. The kid might have mistaken me for someone else but it still bugs me. Also, he never showed up at practice again. My girlfriend's cousin suddenly disappeared one day after she'd taken the bus to her university to change something around with her courses. She's a huge homebody and has been through some trauma in the past so it was extremely unlike her to up and leave with no warning. All of the immediate family searched for her, including myself for two days. We even got the police involved. Absolutely no sign of her. Her mom was able to get a hold of her cell signal and it placed her in a city about 40 minutes over, so we search frantically there and again, nothing. A day after this while my girlfriend's parents are out they just find her walking down the road, by herself. They take her in, I'm guessing she was on her way home because it was about a 20 minute walk from her house, but she just can't give an explanation for why she disappeared or who she'd been with. She can't remember anything. I'm assuming there was some sort of trauma involved because her brain completely wiped it out but we actually have no idea why she went missing and what happened, just that she turned up three days later on the side of the road. I was in high school waiting for my bus to pull up and I was kinda just zoned out. There were kids talking and I was just kinda absorbing the noise from it all. There was a group of kids talking close to me and I hear one of them say that they didn't understand something about a game that I was familiar with. So I kinda butt in and answer the question. Him and his buddy were Asian and they're just kinda staring at me in disbelief. So I apologize because I felt like I had been kinda rude. The one who had been talking said that it was fine but he didn't expect me to understand Korean. He and his friend were foreign exchange students from South Korea and at that moment he had been speaking in his native language. I heard him as if he had spoken plain English and when he did speak in English it wasn't as plain as what I had heard. I still have no idea how I understood him in that brief moment. There were three of us living in an apartment together, my best friend, myself, and another dude that needed a place, pretty cool guy at the time. After winter semester my best friend had to go back home to take care of his dad since his dad had recently become disabled and couldn't watch one of the autistic brothers anymore. He would occasionally come back to our apartment and we would go out and party and stuff. One day, hanging out in my roommate's room, his room is directly next to my best friend's old room, we heard my best friend's ringtone go off. Mind you, we just woke up from a nap and it was around 1 a.m. I looked towards the room and then to my roommate and asked is he sleeping in the room? And my roommate had no idea. We both opened the door to see it completely dark and devoid of any life. We were really spooked by that. Of course, 
I called my best friend immediately afterwards and he picked up. It cleared some things up but we never found out what that was or where it came from.